Hey guys, one of the things you may know me for is that I do love a good story and oftentimes my stories have been wrapped around commercial writing or commercial creation, whether it's around wealth building, whether it's around personal development pursuits. But one of my background hobbies, one of those skeleton things that I need to get out of the closet <laughs> is that I like I, 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 I like the character building around true stories in a movie. So, for instance, let, let's go with um, a non-movie, Dexter. One of the things I like about Dexter is that it's a character-driven series around a character who you can hear his thought process. And a movie that relates to that type of in the head, hey, here's what, I'm doing, here's what I'm thinking and perceiving, is the character, the lead character in The Wolf of Wall Street. So on this site here, and you can find this at barrygoss.com forward slash true story, I, let me show you how cool this is. If you're into any type of script writing, and if you're into any type of scene by scene, play by play, and wondering, well, how did the character, uh, excuse me, how did the directors decide to take this from a true-ish, true angle? False, false angle. So I have my friend here with me, Nicole, and she's all about a good, a good character development, wouldn't you say? Yes. So you and I both talked about, you and I both talked about the Wolf of Wall Street. And let me see if I can bring that up. I got that highlighted right now. Why aren't the other ones highlighted? One second. All right, so we're just both looking at this improv style right now. We're literally recording as we see this. So I see the true, you see the true, true-ish, false mm -hmm. up there? Yes. So check this out. I did see that they've got this descriptor at the bottom. So here's how the truth levels break down. Unknown, we couldn't verify it or the sources were secret personal diaries. False, out, and out didn't happen or outrageous dramatic license taken. False-ish. Pretty false, but with reasonable, understandable, dramatic license. Truish, some tweaks, but true in spirit, or a mix of true and false. True, pretty much nailed it. So let's see how they, how. so the, the way the site works, guys, from what I can see. And let me go see if I can find the Wolf of Wall Street. Well, there it is. Right there. So check this out. So credits and i think the way okay so right here over the right instead of clicking on any of these because you can get lost in the scene you just go on next and so there it is belfort and teresa talking teresa is concerned about the ethics of belfort's work and then it will tell you reality belfort attend oops i'm hovering over some of these scenes and that's it's recognizing let's go back here Let's just choose this one. So you want to read what they say, Nick, right there about the movie? For the movie? Yeah. Stratton Oakmont promo video. The stability, integrity, pride shot of Wall Street sign suggests it is a Wall Street company. So the reality is, is that Stratton uh, Oakmont was the real name of Belfort's company, but it wasn't a Wall Street firm. It was run out of a suburban shopping mall on Long, on Long Island. Belfort trained his people to imply they were a Wall Street firm when selling stock. So the, the, the falsish part is that what the movie is depicting is not true. This is great for if you're ever going to direct any type of indie movies or if you're just really into what it would be to script out the makings of a movie that you want to... What's the word I'm looking for, Nicole? The idea that... When we're watching true movies, we want to be entertained, but we want a semblance of reality. Is that is that it? A sense of reality, something you can connect to. But no, we we already know as viewers, don't we, that the director's taken some creative license. Mm -hmm. and I think this is what this this site is showing you here. So, if we were to go to the next screen here, here's one that's true. the The voiceover from the lead characters, and this is what I love about this movie. There are voiceovers. And you can see and hear through his eyes. Uh, he portrayed a, as cocky. He's portrayed as cocky, charming, testosterone-charged reality. You want to read the reality? <laughs> the reality is that Belfort was a heavy drug user and hired a lot of prostitutes. In an interview with Hollywood Reporter, Belfort says he did more 
uh, gradulates than cocaine, but the film maximizes the cocaine usage because it's more fun to watch someone snorting a line than taking a pill. And that would be qua quali that would be quaaludes, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> That's the Mexican version of quaaludes, guadalades. Guadalades. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. I don't take drugs. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> So you can see here if I keep well look well, here's here's what I like about it. Look at the visuals, uh, Nicole. See how we already know true up here shows blue. Mm -hmm. We can look at each of these here and we can see okay, the most of it's true. But let's look at the ones that are false ish and false ish. Like there well, there's a true false one. So awkward moment between Aunt Emma and Belfort where they get too close, share an uncomfortable kiss then pull back and move on. Reality, there was no kiss. In the memoir, <laughs> Belfort, I mean, I wouldn't be kissing my aunt either. No. <laughs> Belfort poured his heart out to her, and the reader was shown his vulnerability. Hmm. And vulnerabilities in the book. So this is an example of the writer and or director getting a little crazy with, for uh, made for movies, made for Hollywood movies. I wonder why he thought that was a, a point to be made. Yeah, I mean, this is this is where if you're really a student of the craft, guys, you can really kind of ask yourself questions like that and go, huh, okay, well, if I was to do that, would I feel that I need to make that point? Like on this one here, Azov starts an argument, Brad trying to be decent, Azov won't shut up. Apparently, Garrett threatened to kill Parush? for turning up stone, so Parush left Parush? quickly. <laughs> That's, I guess, the reality according to the author in the book. Mm -hmm. But here we've got the light. I guess these are pink. There's the false-ish. Which is interesting because you, then, then you've got to ask yourself, well, why in this part of the movie between the, 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 the two-hour ten mark and... How does this work? Oh, maybe that is the entire scene itself, actually, that block right there. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. So at the office, in this case, uh, Belfort has stepped down, gives a final speech to the company, changes his mind in mid-speech, refuses to step down, crowd cheers, they adore him, and the crowd goes wild. Reality, Belfort did step down when he gave his final speech. However, he was indeed met with cheers and adoration. So little on the fence there between truth and falsehood. So that's The Wolf of Wall Street. And then what else we got here? Social network, the King's Speech. Do you ever see the King's Speech? I, yes. What is that about? That is about the king who stutters, and his brother actually ends up being the rightful king, but he doesn't want to be king, so he steps down to marry in an English or an American, and that revokes his um, placement as being a king. So the brother has to step up, and he's notorious uh, for stuttering, and they go in and give him speech lessons. And uh, he's ends up being a remarkable king with one of the best speeches that are known. Oh wow! Well, I have to see this then because it's, if it's based off of a true story, mm -hmm. then it I I gotta watch it. <laughs> Let me see here. Oh, I see. They give you different views here of how to look at this. But what I like about this is the, the color scheme here. So I can close this out, and we could look. Oh. Which of these movies really or, went overboard? More true and more like, look at this one, the Imitation <laughs> look at Game. Selma. Oh my gosh! But I want to look at. I want to. I want to comment on this Imitation Game, guys. Now, this is a movie I have not seen, but I should see it because it's about crypto cryptography. It's good. But look at yeah. if it's so good, they went overboard. Mm -hmm. I think they had to to make a movie. It had to extend its not or extend the base of it because it's. Otherwise, it'd be a short film. Well, maybe, yeah, because it's it's in some ways it's it's riddled in crypt uh, secrecy, and mm -hmm. same some maybe the director couldn't true show the true aspects of really what happened because of that. So, if this is false, nighttime turning hides important papers to crypt. Didn't make my messages from Nazi command in his. I think this is wait. Sometimes I get my movies mixed up, but is this the one where he does solve it? 
and they have to allow the some sacrifice some of the ships so that they're not caught on that they actually did that. Or is that the other All thing? I know is my buddy Jay said if you haven't watched this, you're missing a, a great movie uh, because of my background as a cryptologist in the Navy. Mm. Well, I love the actors. <laughs> he also did really good in um, what is it, uh, Sherlock Holmes? Who who's the actor? I don't remember how to say his name. Uh, what else did he play in? He was in Sherlock Holmes. All right, so you meant Benj oh, Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> Cumberbatch, Alan Tur Turney. I have not done any uh, background uh, uh, checking on the, the the story, the real story, but I will before I watch this. But but, but wow, uh, IMDb or uh, I'm sorry, I was looking for Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes, four and a half. Mm -hmm. So, pretty intense drama, or is it more mm -hmm. of a love story? Uh, no, it's drama. Gotcha. The love story is kind of put aside because he's so passionate about his work. Ah. Uh, okay. So yeah, hey guys, if, if if this is, I just wanted to point this out. Like, I mean, like, look at Selma. It's crazy. It's all true. If we click on that, the gray is unknown. So, Show scenes and notes. So let's look at a gray area in the right here and almost the beginning of the movie. Does that ring a bell? But as far as the movie, itself. yeah. Well, as far as why it's unknown, why, why would they? Oh, I see. We couldn't find, find a... the source. Yeah. Okay, that's what they're saying. So, like in this one here, King did stay away the first day of the march. Although we don't know if it was to to be with Coretta, Coretta his girl, his wife, or her girl, wife. Okay, well, Hunter, I see, hundred percent. They're scoring this hundred percent, possibly as mostly true. Maybe that's what I'm seeing here. Let's take a look here. Uh, what would be next to 100%? 88.8 for Bridge of Spies. Uh, Bridge of Spies. Which is apparently I have to see, right? The German one. Isn't it? Or the Soviet Union? Yep. Yeah, during the Cold War. Okay. Do you know who's in this one? The actors? Uh, I'm horrible with actors. Okay. Uh, she says the old guy, and it's Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Well, he is a classic. <laughs> One of my favorite actors. But, how? hey, apparently not that favorite if I hadn't seen the movie. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. All right, well... Oh, I was thinking of him too. Who's that? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe that is him. Rudolph. Or, yeah. Hey guys, so basically, uh, if you if you made it this far, why are you still watching this? By the way, whoever you are. <laughs> but, but no, seriously, uh, BarryGoss.com forward slash true story. I I thought it was a cool little uh, tool online, and have fun with it. There's probably some other cool stuff here. Oh, yeah, like, look at this. You can sort by date, uh, mostly true, mostly false. So if I go most false. Oh, imitation. Yeah. The, oh, Hacksaw Ridge. That's a good one, too. <laughs> I haven't seen like Like, all these true war movies? What the <laughs> hell? No, I did see American Sniper just because it's about a Navy SEAL. Did you see the Dallas Buyers Club? I did not. Lion? Have you seen any of these? I saw American Sniper. Oh, that's good. Okay. <laughs> I just said that. Yes, you did. What's lying about? A lion? Oh, it's the... Uh, it's kind of... Aerial shot over Indi of India. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it, because he's kind of stuck out in the sea. I don't remember. Where is he? Oh, yeah, the two brothers. So two brothers, they hop the trains, and then the one brother ends up dying and leaves the other one left. Oh, my gosh, it's a so, such a sad story. So the other brother ends up being left behind, and he gets separated from his family, and he doesn't know how to get back to him. He, it's his struggle growing up, and then later on in real life, he does meet up with his real family. Well, look at this. They have an info button here. And if you're still watching, you must be really fascinated with our banter. <laughs> but hey, we found another. It is a remarkable story, though, because he ends up being adopted later on in life, and he finds his original family and goes back to the original, yeah, you know, back to the tribe, and they couldn't even believe he still survived. 
let's see what they have to say. I think he was like four or five years old when he got. Um, All right, let's move on here to Dallas Buyers Club. I just want to see how they got so. If you read that, is that what you remember? Difficult to win. Made up. I would need a little bit more. It's not. I know I've seen it. I just. Okay. Well, let's look at one that just, and then we'll, we'll close this out, guys. I know we're going on more than we should here. Uh, let's see. We know we both know what the social network's about, so let's mm -hmm. see if they got that right on the info button. Mostly true, bar some crude characterization of Zuckerberg. Okay, I see what they're doing. They're just giving info about whether it's true or false. Uh, I guess that's what it is. Anyway, play around with this. There's some stuff here. You might have fun with it. And uh, over and out between and me. Fun fact check. Do you want to say bye? Bye. Wait a minute. You said juice. 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 Juice.